In this session, we're going to consider sources of information. So, if we're providing information to management to assist them with running the business, where are we going to get all of this information from? Well, there are both internal and external sources of information. Internal information would be things like wage rates, perhaps production rates, how many units of our product are we producing in an hour, for example. It may also include sales volumes. So all of this information helps us understand what our labor costs are, how well is our business doing, how many units of our product are we selling, and how efficient is our production process. However, we may also source information externally. One of our key sources of external information would be government reports and statistics. What might be included in government reports that would be of interest to us as we run our company? Well, the first thing I would suggest is inflation rates. Very important, in particular as part of our budgeting process perhaps, for us to understand how much are prices likely to go up or down, and usually it's up. If inflation is expected to increase significantly throughout the course of the year, then we can expect our expenses to go up. So our cost to suppliers and all the rest are likely to increase as well. We might, might therefore have to increase the price we charge our customers. So it's very important we understand the effect inflation is going to have on our costs and revenues. And if we're going to increase our prices of our product, are we happy that customers will still buy the product? Or will we simply just lose customers? So understanding inflation and knowing what to expect is extremely important as part of our planning process. Other information that may be included in government reports, predicted exchange rates. Many companies now work across a number of different countries. Um, if there are movements in exchange rates, that may also affect our costs and revenues. So if our supplier is located in a different currency zone to us and the exchange rate moves against us, it may become more expensive for us to purchase goods from that other country. Likewise, if we're selling our product to people in a foreign country and they're paying us in a foreign currency, any exchange rate movements is going to affect our revenue. Other information may include consumer expenditure. So how much money are people spending? In times like these, for example, where the economy has... Okay, forget that. Just going to go from the consumer expenditure bit, bit again. Other information that might be included in government reports would be consumer expenditure. So are people currently spending quite a lot of money, going on a lot of holidays, buying a lot of luxury goods? Or, like during a recession for example, are people more likely to keep their money in the bank and try and build up their savings? Again, this is going to have an impact on our company. Consumer expenditure is low, we need to look at our product and think, well, are we still going to be able to sell this? If it's a luxury item and consumer expenditure is relatively low, we may need to plan for some difficult times ahead. Or is our product something that is necessary to people, like food, for example? that is less likely to be affected by changes in consumer expenditure. 
aside from government reports, other external sources of information might be professional or trade statistics. So for example, I'm giving construction industry reports. So if we look at professional or trade statistics, these are going to be more industry specific. So perhaps if we're a company that manufactures and sells furniture, we might be interested in what the construction industry has to say. Are there a lot of new property, properties being built? If the answer is yes, then we would expect then there's a lot of new properties being sold, people moving into new homes looking to buy furniture. On the converse side of that, of course, if the construction industry sees difficult times ahead, and someone selling furniture may want to consider that when doing their planning process. And they are our sources of information. 